is when you have an angle that is now larger than 90 degrees, so it's an obtuse. So when you have one obtuse angle, okay, you have now an obtuse triangle. Now, so let me ask a question. Let me pick on somebody good. Josh, I don't know if you're writing down these answers or not, so I'll ask you the question. Josh, um, a obtuse angle, right? A obtuse angle has the measure of what? Has to, um, obtuse, for it to be an obtuse angle, the measure of the angle has to be what? 90 or more. Greater than 90 or more, right? Can't be 90, it has to be greater than 90. Now, Josh, is it possible for a triangle to have more, more than one obtuse angle in it? Why not? Do you know? OK, let's, per, let's pretend this triangle has an obtuse angle of 100, right? Now, if I was going to add another obtuse angle, that means that angle has to be greater than 90, right? So you could have 90 plus, or I'm sorry, 100 plus what, 91, right? So that means out of two, tri out of two angles, you have 91 plus 100, which is 191. What is the measure of all the angles in a triangle? 180. So already with two acute angles, you already are above 90 degrees, right? So therefore, an obtuse triangle can only contain one obtuse angle. But when it does, we call it an obtuse triangle, OK? Now, Josh, I picked on you because you're supposed to have notes out. And you're supposed to